Morning Devon, morning grow. I hope you liked the last video and that you're getting stuck into those press ups, sit ups and squats. Just to make sure you're doing it right, there are eventually in the full workout 50 press ups followed by 50 air squats, these ones, and then 50 sit ups. And then when you've done those in the same workout, you've then got to do 40 of them, 30 of them, 20, and then 10. I know that seems like a really massive amount of work, but if you work up to that during the lockdown, I promise you, you'll get massively strong and massively fit. Um, so today, I wanted to talk about what exercise is, because I know it's not everybody's love of life, and believe it or not, it's not mine either. I don't do it for the sake of it. I don't particularly enjoy it whilst I'm doing it, none of us do. But I know that it's totally crucial for a fulfilling, full and healthy life. I was ill for an awful lot of my childhood. I spent a lot of it in an oxygen tent. Now, as you know, I work for WPA Healthcare. So I see a lot of illness. And sadly, over 50% of that illness, we know that for a fact, um, is due to lifestyle choices. Obviously, a lot of those lifestyle choices are around eating, smoking and drinking, but an awful lot of it is exercise too. And I think we've actually forgotten what exercise is. Exercise is not walking the dog. It's not running around the house doing housework. Yes, they contribute and they're nice to do's. And my big caveat is, by the way, it does depend on what the dog walk is. I don't want to offend you all, but if you're walking around the flat and you're working, you're walking on a flat surface, then it's probably not exercise. Um, exercise is when you move your heart to a particular pace. The heart is just as much of a muscle as this is, and the more you work it, the stronger and bigger it'll get. If you're not working it, it will atrophy. And if you look at the arms of, you know, a more elderly person, they start to look rather withered. That is what is happening to your heart. So how do we know when the heart is working? Well, there's a very simple test, and that is listening to somebody breathe and talk to you. If they're sort of like this, how are you today, Devon? We know that pretty much we're getting towards a rate where our heart is working. But there's a very, very much simpler way, not simpler way, sorry, a much more accurate way of knowing. If you know what your maximum heart rate is, which is the number 220 minus your age, that is your maximum heart rate. So I'm give or take approaching 60, don't want to give too much detail. So my maximum heart rate is 220 minus that 60. So my maximum heart rate is 160 beats a minute. Now, I should be exercising to make my heart feel good and start to work my heart. I should be exercising at a minimum of 60% of that. Okay, so I haven't got my calculator, my calculator on me, but from memory, it's roughly 100 beats a minute. So for exercise, so what is exercise? It's getting the heart to 60% of its max. So for me, that's 100 beats per minute. And if your heart is going into about 100 beats a minute, you're going to actually feel slightly breathless. There should be um, some water coming out of your face, um, a thing called sweat, and you should be going a little bit red. And only at that point can any of us call it exercise. So please, I don't want any of us to kid ourselves. Well, we are exercising when we're getting up and we're moving around the house. Um, we're doing a bit of gardening or we're walking the dog. It actually doesn't contribute a lot. Sorry to be mean. Yes, it will perhaps keep your joints a bit lubricated and stuff, but we've all lost the fact, the sight of what exercise is. So I can go into more detail in this probably in another talk, but as I've only got three to four minutes and I'm over time, I hope that's been helpful. Lastly, the best piece of 
investment you can ever make is a heart rate monitor. There's a load on the market now, as you know, Fitbit and TomTom and Garmin, they're all out there. If you get a heart rate monitor, preferably with a chest strap because they are more accurate, but without is fine, it's a good start. And just start to feel what it's like getting your heart up to 100 beats a minute in my case. If not, work up to 60% of 220 minus your age and start to feel how it feels. And you might choose different walks where you're actually pumping up and getting yourself a little bit red. Um, I hope that helps and I'll see you next week. Take care, bye for now.